Hello, you guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Forgot what day it was for a second. I'm wearing my big old sweater because surprisingly, I'm actually cold this morning, but it's quickly warming up. I just got myself some Starbucks and also got myself sausage cheddar and egg sandwich, which is my favorite at Starbucks. My friend gave me a gift card because she was out of office last week. And so I figured why not use it? I'm taking a quick moment to eat because I had a doctor's appointment this morning. And so I told my work I wasn't going to be in until 10 and it's about 9.30 right now. So I figured I'd quickly eat and then get right back on. Today I had my last specialist appointment, which is very exciting. I am thinking about maybe getting another appointment for a neurologist for my headaches, but today's appointment was for dermatology and there's only one mole that she was like I don't even want to say concerned because she wasn't really concerned it was more that she was just kind of like just keep an eye on this one but other than that we're all good so that's fantastic news I was very nervous for this appointment anyway I just wanted to start the vlog and say hi and I'm gonna head back home in just a few I live like five minutes from the Starbucks so it's not very far luckily my doctor is like right by my house so that's always really nice and i'm going to head back online and start working our systems were actually all down this morning too so they just got back up which is so funny because i feel like every time our systems are down i'm either on pto or on sick leave or like something's going on and it's just so funny to me okay well anyway just saying hi hello good morning happy tuesday and we're gonna have a great week together I'm back home now and I wanted to update you guys on the plans for this week as a whole or like, I don't know, just like what's going on. So today is Tuesday and just working from home today, tomorrow on Wednesday, I'm heading over to my friend's apartment in Beverly Hills because we have our book club. But what's extra exciting about this book club day is I have not seen my friend's new apartment yet. She had a really weird situation where basically she had to unexpectedly move and and she found this place in Beverly Hills that she's really excited about. So she was living in Hollywood and it was always, I mean, no matter what, it's gonna be a trek to get to her place, but I feel like her new place is gonna be in like a much nicer neighborhood. So I'm very excited to see how she's decorated it all and everything. Like I've seen photos and been on like video with her, but I just, I can't wait. I'm excited and she's always really good at cooking. So I'm gonna have a good dinner because whenever we have a book club, whoever is hosting has to also make the dinner. So we're gonna have a great dinner. And then Thursday is just a work day, but Friday we're headed off to Big Bear and we're gonna be spending Labor Day weekend in Big Bear, which I'm really excited about because we haven't been in like, I wanna say the last time we went was February of 2023. So it's been a second since we've been. So I'm very, very excited for like all of this week and the plans that we have i have kind of a full week which i love because if i get too much into a routine it just feels like the day is like the same over and over again and there's nothing breaking it up so sometimes i like to go to a friend's house or like go to a coffee shop and like actually get dressed because it's just not something that i do every i mean like i'm dressed but like i'm in workout clothes because i work from home so very excited for all of the plans and all of the things going on again today we're just working but i wanted to update you guys and I think I'm gonna do like a big bear vlog. So I'm very excited about that too because we haven't gone on too many trips recently. So I'm just excited to get out of LA for a little bit. Hi, I'm just picking up. I just got back home. The dishwasher is going, so it's a little loud over there. We just got our prescription, thank goodness. I had to go over to Walgreens and get some inhalers. I got three and I'm like always so skeptical. Yes, they're my inhalers. So I'm gonna go put these away and we're gonna get back to work. It's about 3.50 right now. We also got this stand over here. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's like a little picture of it, but basically it's an umbrella stand. So we can take the umbrella that we have in the front yard and we can move it over to our seating area and like the side of the yard, which is where we generally spend our time. So I'm super excited because we're gonna set that up and then Ryan also got us an automatic pet feeder, which I'm super excited about as well. So that's supposed to be coming sometime today. And I'll be able to 
set it up so that I can just like have that feed pee instead of me having to get up because there's been a whole, I don't want to call it an issue, but basically pee wakes up way too early and starts crying for his food. And the only solution that I've ever seen work was when I had an automatic pet feeder a few years back because he realized that I was not the one feeding him. It was this machine. So he would get upset with the machine and not at me and he would cry less. We're going to see if it works. I think it will hopefully. And also it'll just be like extremely consistent so it'll train him that he gets his food at the same exact time every single day anyway those are all the updates i'm going to continue working and that's all i have for you guys so far hopefully we'll do some reading later today maybe a little bit of a workout and just enjoy our evening after work i believe we just got another package which is the automatic pet feeder it's here it's here all right let's try to set this thing up Apparently this is seven liters and I just looked it up and for the amount of cups that that can have for dog food in theory This should work for about a month at a time. So that's really nice I just got this off of Amazon So I'll keep you guys updated on if I like it or not because I don't want to recommend something if I don't end up liking it You guys will know firsthand Peaky's walking by because he wants it to be dinner time. All right, I guess everything's in here This is the little gadget all right, I'm gonna try to figure this thing out and then I will show you guys once I have got it all set up and up and running. All right, we got it all set up. So this was the old setup. The thing that I did like, well, first of all, this is not actually meant for dogs. This is like a portable desk but this was his water bottle and this is his maze bowl that he usually uses. So the only downside is this does not have a maze bowl, but it does come out by portion sizes. So he has this maze bowl because he eats really fast. This comes out basically the amount of food that he needs is eight portions. So it does come out a little slower. So hopefully that will help. I'm gonna refill his water. I set it for five o'clock and it's 4.50 right now. So we'll see how it works in about 10 minutes. He's really upset that he didn't get fed yet. Oh my gosh, it's the first feeding. All right, well, I think that was a success for the first try. At the, I have to move this thing, the, this thing. But that thing, I think it was a success for the first time around. It seemed like it gave him the right amount of food. The only downside is that because it doesn't have the maze, it actually comes out a lot faster than I was expecting. So he does eat it a little fast but I don't know. I think like sometimes you win some, you lose some, and this is going to be a game changer because he literally wakes us up at like 5.30 or 6 every single morning for his food. So I think this will just be so much better for all of us involved. Anyway, I'm gonna go take him on a walk and my mom is calling me, so I'm gonna go take that. Good morning, guys. Today's um, Wednesday, nope. Thursday. <laughs> this week, my whole week has been a little off because Friday I have off and so I keep thinking that it's Wednesday for some reason, but yesterday was Wednesday. I don't know. It's just getting confusing in my head. I'm going to make myself a lavender latte this morning and let me grab all of the ingredients and stuff. My hero. Ryan put away this stuff for me. Oh my god, that's so nice of him. Today we have another easy day. You know, at some point, like, the easy days are not the best because I want to be having meetings and it's just like not happening. But also, you know, like you can only really do what you can. And like, as long as I'm doing my work every day, then that's all I can do. Sometimes you just have bad months or whatever. I don't know if it's a bad month or like a bad last few years, but we're getting through it. I'm making myself a latte because we have to start work. It's about 8.30 right now and my first meeting is at nine. And then, like I mentioned, today's gonna be kind of an easy day. I think I have a one-on-one -on -one with my VP. So I'm going to chat with her today. And aside from that, I don't really think I have much else. We are going to be getting ready this morning or not this morning, um, today for Big Bear because Ryan and I are headed off to Big Bear for the weekend. We have obviously Labor Day, so we decided why not? We haven't been in a little while. I can't even remember if I've shown you guys like where we stay when we go to Big Bear, but yeah, we try to go like every six months or so and we just haven't been in a while. So we're going to head over there and kind of think of what else. I think basically today we're just gonna work and pack and maybe i'm gonna try to read some of my book i haven't really gotten too into it so i think it's just like been a little bit of a struggle to read it as weird as that sounds i just feel like sometimes if i'm not in the mood for a book then it's just like nah. i need a mug what's my mug today 
I'm gonna use my University of Washington mug. This is where I went to school and my mom now lives in Washington and so she picked this up from Starbucks for me. I thought it was really cute. Like, can you see it? It's just focusing on my face. There we go. Now P's crying in the background. If you guys are at all interested in, like if you make your own coffees, I got this lavender syrup from Amazon of all places. I had seen it at a coffee shop so I knew I liked the flavor of it, but it was half the price of Tarani and it's called Da Vinci. And this one is really good. I really, really like it. And I think they have other flavors too. I think Ryan, whenever he gets vanilla, he just gets like the Vaughn's signature select. And honestly, it's really good. And it's way cheaper than Tarani and things like that. Okay, I just made this. I'm gonna clean up everything and get my laptop set up, the whole thing. And then we'll check in after my meetings and just kind of like recap on what exactly we're gonna do for the day because it's a little bit of a weird day today. Wow, it has been a day. I haven't seen you guys since this morning and now it's 5 p.m. So it's been a second. P is begging for his food, except he doesn't realize that this machine now is the one that dispenses it for him. So he's just gonna have to wait, but the food comes out at five. So we actually, it's a little before five. So he has seven minutes until he gets fed. Let me move you guys because it got dark over there. I have to pack for Big Bear. I don't know what time we're leaving tomorrow or anything like that. And I also need to edit a video before we go. And I think that's kind of all like the plans that I like have to do. So I think what I'm gonna do right now actually is throw some clothes in the laundry so that I can get those going. I have a majority of my clothes to pick from when I'm actually packing. And then the only thing that I'll have dirty is literally this, like what I'm wearing. We'll do some editing probably and then I have been watching Bridgerton lately. I can't believe I'm so late to the game. You're gonna have to just ignore the background noise of him crying. He does this every day. But yeah, I can't believe I'm late to the game on Bridgerton. It's so good. And it's so funny because the reason I got inspired to watch it is because at work we have a new system. I think I've mentioned to you guys a couple of times now, but there's a new system that we have. And with the system, they wanted us to be able to play around with a few contacts, but not have like any repercussions with like our real contacts. And so they added in a bunch of Bridgerton people. And so then and I just kept seeing them on my list of contacts. And finally I was like, I want to know what this show is about. Like everybody talks about it here about all the time. I want to know what Bridgerton is about. And I finally watched it and it's so good. I'm already almost done with season one and there's only three seasons. So I don't know what I'm going to do after I'm done with it, but I'm going to continue watching that too. So yeah, I think I'm going to relax for a little bit. Just kind of like de-stress after the work day, maybe get my eyes off of a screen. Once he eats, then I'm going to take him on a walk and then we'll relax a little bit. I haven't really been reading a ton, but I'm also very excited for Big Bear because we always have way more downtime. A lot of time to just like chill at the cabin. There's no Wi-Fi there. So I do always bring my hotspot, but it's just like a little spottier. So it's just really fun to disconnect a little bit. But yeah, I'll just take you guys along and we're gonna prep for our vacation. Something else that I forgot I have to do is I have to make a return as well. So I'm gonna drop this off at the post office, I think. There's like a drop-off area that has like a drop-off for packages, which is really nice not too far from my house. So I gotta do that today. So I'm gonna put this over in this area. That way I don't forget. And P just got fed. So I'm gonna do the laundry really fast and then we're gonna take him on his walk. And maybe I'll try reading for a little bit. I think I just haven't gotten into my book very much. And so sometimes if I'm not fully into my book, then it makes it that much harder to want to read in comparison to like watching a TV show or something, you know? I actually don't have too many laundry items because I had just done my laundry not too long ago, which is really nice because then it will go just like so much faster. But I just, I wanna make sure I have all the options available, especially because usually whenever I go on vacation or especially somewhere close like Big Bear, I will bring some workout stuff as well so that I can continue to do my workouts or like a run or something like that while I'm away. And then I just like stay in the, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? The, uh, like the habit of doing it. All right, let's go take pee on his walk while the laundry goes and he's already out the door. So I gotta go follow him now. Okay, while we were on the walk, I made a list of all of the things that I needed to bring. Just this is how my brain works. So basically I did a Friday day, Saturday, Sunday, and then lazy clothes, just other random things, toiletries, things to do beforehand, electronics, and then stuff for pee. And I especially love doing this like things to do before we leave kind of list because it helps me stay really organized about 
like the things that I need to accomplish. So it's really simple things like I need to get gas, I need to put some air in my tire, I need to return that package, empty the dishwasher, clean the coffee pot, edit my video, put my laundry away, and then just like clean up my office slash desk area. I wanna do all of that before we head out. There's obviously like a tiered, like if I don't put my laundry away, it's not the end of the world. If I don't clean my desk, it's not the end of the world, but I would love to do those things before we get to the point where like I'm coming home and then I'm having to go back to work and nothing's completed. So I just feel like it really helps me set myself up for success when I come back from a vacation because I always feel like I obviously miss out on all of the things that I was supposed to accomplish. So I think right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit my video that I need to do. So gonna be coming out for tomorrow and then my next video is not until Monday but I think we're coming back Sunday night. So I'll have time to edit that one, no problem, especially because I have Monday off. That will be a lot easier but I'm going to go ahead and edit my video now. Maybe I'll watch some TV and then do a workout and start to accomplish some of those smaller tasks tasks too. Oh my god, I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm like tripping over every single word. It's really weird. Also, right now it's 80 degrees, but it feels so nice. It's super breezy out here. It's like perfect and it feels so wonderful to just like sit outside. Ryan and I moved the umbrella to over here so it's between the trees and we got this new base. I can't remember if I told you guys any of this, but actually I think the base came in on Tuesday and you guys saw that, but it has now been set up. So very excited about that because we'll be able to use this, which is really exciting. And I just think that it'll just be so nice. Plus it will help like the chairs not get so dirty, which is always really helpful. You know, I'm trying to think of like, do I want to sit inside or outside? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to decide where I'm going to sit. I'm going to edit a little bit and then we'll get to all of our other tasks. Okay, I did my editing and now I think my wash is actually done. I just need to dry my clothes. Before I do, it gets extremely loud. So I figured I'd tell you guys before I go and run all of that. I think the first task that I'm gonna hit is actually cleaning my desk, which is arguably the least important task I have to do. But lately I've been feeling really uninspired about sitting at my desk. I, I do sit here literally every single day and I just, it's so cluttered. Like I just don't like it. I don't feel productive here so that like the second that I can leave this spot, I do. I'm not liking it. So I just want to do a quick clean. Like there's nothing dirty about it. It's just like more so the clutter everywhere. And I think I just need to like kind of put things away. So I'm going to do that really fast. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. three minutes to accomplish and I don't know how long I've been <laughs> I've been doing that or like having that in the back of my head but um it's done I just quickly cleaned up and now all I have to do is put one thing away and it's finished I just hadn't put any of my other stuff away like why am I like this there's definitely still some clutter I need to actually like toss this there's a few things that are still a little messy for example this and that is actually useful because I've been collaging with it but now I'm thinking that like it's totally like making the whole desk that this needs to be put away, but it's making the whole desk look messy. I don't know what it is about the desk that feels messy, but it just does. Maybe it's just like the amount of screens or the fact that my stand is some books. I don't really know. Something's up here. Doesn't feel super clean, but whatever. I'm gonna put this in one of these drawers and then I have a few things down here as well. I'm not gonna show you guys because I am applying for a passport. So it's like all of my documents, but that is on the floor. But otherwise, I mean like it's as clean as it's gonna get, I think right now. At least we successfully did that. I really cannot believe that that's taken me. Like I've been thinking about doing this for weeks. I think the next few items I'm going to do are the like dishwasher, that kind of thing. I'm going to wait to do all of like the gas and filling up my tire and stuff until tomorrow when we head out. I'm just going to like run by the gas station on the way out. And then we'll also go to the post office because it's just like a drop off box. And we can do that like on the way because I don't have any other reason to drive today. So I think that's going to be the plan. Let's go accomplish more tasks. That felt really good to just like get that out of the way. I was 
feeling a little tired and I did a few other extra things around the house. Like I cleaned the um, living room up a bunch and I vacuumed and things like that, but I'm feeling really lazy. So I know I'm gonna regret this in the morning, but I'm actually gonna wait until the morning to pack. So I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. We'll pack together and then we will head off to Big Bear. Good morning guys. Today is Big Bear travel day. Usually it only takes us like two-ish, maybe three hours to get to Big Bear. The map always says it could take an hour and a half never takes an hour and a half but i am going to do some packing now i i think i'm gonna pack ryan is still sleeping so i think i'm gonna pack all of the things that i need to like the extra stuff peas things that kind of thing right now and then i'll do the clothes after because my closet is in the master let's just get to it i have put this off long enough I believe we've collected everything now. You can see I have whole piles of things here and I got my suitcase from the garage as well. So let's put it all into the suitcase. than I expected but we have all of the like socks underwear that kind of thing in here and then we have like this is a bathing suit and some shorts that can get wet in case we want to go kayaking just some like chargers and things iPad and Kindle and then all of my clothes and I just need to put my toiletries here and then other than that I'm good but I need to shower first and then I have all of P stuff actually surprisingly most of it fit in this little container this is just his long leash and that's his water bottle in case we go hiking and he comes and then this is just like coffee stuff like a mocha pot and french press things like that with like coffee so I think we're pretty much good I just need to go shower so that I can put all of my toiletries in here so I think after that we're gonna head out so I think that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for keeping me motivated helping me pack the whole thing like I felt like I did a lot more than I probably would have if I was not vlogging with you guys so thank you so much and I'm excited to bring you guys to Big Bear with me I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Thank you.